Hey everyone, welcome back to Talk X. Today, we're diving into some shocking news surrounding Janelle Evans from Teen Mom. Just when it seemed like she was trying to turn a new leaf after her split from David Eason, things have taken a dramatic turn once again. We'll be unpacking the latest developments, including a troubling 911 call and the involvement of Child Protective Services in Las Vegas. So grab your snacks and let's get into it. After Janelle Evans and David Eason parted ways in early 2024, Janelle hoped for a drama-free life. She secured full custody of their daughter, Ensley, and decided to move away from North Carolina. In in 2023, she also regained custody of her oldest son, Jace. However, shortly after, Jace ran away three times in two months. During the last incident, he claimed that David had assaulted him, leading to his removal from the home. Jace was temporarily placed in the custody of Child Protective Services while the situation was investigated. After the charges were dropped, Jace returned home, but Janelle soon separated from David and was rehired by MTV to return to Teen Mom, planning to leave North Carolina behind. She chose Las Vegas as her new home because her manager and close friend, August Keene, lived there. However, Jace expressed his reluctance to move, and there were reports that Kaiser, 10, and Ensley, 7, had skipped school. At the end of August, a distressing 911 call was made by August Keene, who reported that Janelle was heavily intoxicated, on drugs, and had become physical. According to The Sun, Child Protective Services in Las Vegas has since gotten involved. Initially, August stated that Janelle's three children were present during the altercation, but he later retracted that claim, saying the fight occurred while they were out. He clarified that the children were asleep at home and unaware of the incident. Meanwhile, Jace and Kaiser have been getting into trouble at school, prompting Janelle to send Kaiser to live with his grandmother in Tennessee. Regarding CPS involvement, an insider shared this. CPS is involved and Janelle doesn't want any legal action against her. That's partially why she suddenly sent Kaiser to his grandmother's. Kaiser was also allegedly caught vaping by Janelle Evans. She supposedly was not happy but did not take his vapes away. Moreover, it seems she would rather him smoke marijuana but was pretty lax about it all. It appeared he was not able to attend school any longer, so sending him to be with his grandmother was the best option. However, Janelle shared this. The reason why I wanted Kaiser to be with his father is because Kaiser is at the age where it's important for him and his father and his father's family to spend time with one another. Kaiser loves Nathan's family, and Nathan can also use some time with his son. So, that was her justification as to why she sent him away. After the 911 call and struggles with her sons, Janelle came home to a CPS visit, per The Insider. A CPS card was left on her door that she needed to call them because she wasn't there. Within 72 hours of that card being left, she had Kaiser on the road. She didn't tell him why because she didn't want him to say anything before she got him out of the state. CPS cannot speak on the incident as the children are minors, which makes perfect sense. Kaiser's grandmother, Doris, also stated that she just solely wants to protect him. Hopefully he is being cared for and shown stability and love. Are you shocked that CPS is back with Janelle or not in the slightest? Let us know in the comments below.